brought me to this meeting was really the opportunity to work with a quite prestigious group of physicians and scientists who are trying to tackle a real important problem, which is to develop curative treatments for patients that are diagnosed with oligodendroglioma. There were so many leaders in the field that were coming together to try to address this challenging problem. And this is a disease that affects young people in the prime of their lives and it desperately needs better treatments. Uh, we should have a short-term goal and that is to provide patients that have oligodendroglioma today with hope. And um, that means that we basically have to give priority to certain trials that we as a group think in the short term will benefit patients. Collaboration has an amazing opportunity to really transform cancer therapy. Too often we think about our collaborators as people down the hall, but really thinking about how collaborations with people from different areas with different expertise can come together. I, I think the opportunity for uh, collaborating uh, is tremendous here. Uh, we've got the spectrum of uh, basic uh, scientists, stem cell uh, biologists, uh, immunologists, uh, uh, clinicians, uh, folks, tar uh, 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 world experts on, on um, cell signaling pathways. The model of science should be NASA. You know, if we want to go to the moon, we all need to work together to go to the moon. And I feel these kind of initiatives really brings us closer to that. I see tremendous opportunities to um, collaborate with the investigators in this network to identify new targets for immune therapies and to take approaches that we have used to target other brain tumors and determine whether, could, whether they could be effective for patients with this disease. Well, what I've learned here as a part of uh, this oligodendroglioma initiatives is that, that there are incredible resources out there within um, the groups represented by the investigators here. One of the things that we talked a lot about this meeting was how to gain access to or develop better models of oligodendroglioma to study in the lab so that we can better vet potential therapies, so that we can gain a deeper understanding of the disease uh, in order to design smarter strategies for treatment. And the idea that we could uh, create a central repository, or at least a virtual repository, of available research tools uh, for the field to use, I think, is a, a really important action item that's going to emerge from this meeting. And so I think just by working together and um, collaborating, communicating, we can really um, make advancements that wouldn't happen in silos. Um, I think the, one of the important things that Oligo Nation has at least done for me, and I think will do for others in the field, is to really bring a heightened sense of awareness of the difference that can be made in patients' lives now. I mean, as a pediatric neurosurgeon, I actually take oligodendroglioma's out uh, very, of young patients. And um, it take, can take many hours at times, uh, six, seven, sometimes ten hours. And I want to know that after I take the tumor out that we have effective treatments, meaningful treatments that are going to live, give your entire life back. I think the thing that people with Oligo today need to really understand is that there is hope. They cannot give up. They should not give up. They should get involved. And getting involved can mean a lot of different things, but you can make a difference. And I'm not asking you to give money. That's fine. That might be part of it. I'm asking you to give of yourself, give of your energy, give of your imagination. Help us get in touch with the people that love you and that love your loved one, that want to make a difference with you. That's how we're going to take this thing to the next level. That's how we're going to get to a cure. Thank you.